let me just go into the first news the title is up man loses wife in gambling let's let's friends gang rape her up is a state in india right yes the a northern state and you said up is like the florida of india because all the yeah, weird it is it is bizarre like florida but it is also more dangerous than florida i mean so it's like it's, all the weird. It's like it's like the hub of Hinduism. Like it's a hub of Hinduism. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So the hub of Hinduism is in in India is also where all the weird shit hap- that happens. Yep. Most most of the weird shit. Not all. Most of the weird shit. So when it comes to the uh, like, I'll, I'll I'll read the news very. But before I say that, like when it comes to a lot of weird shit happening in religious areas, like whether it's the Bible be- Belt or the Hindu state in India, even if you can't say like it's because of Hinduism, if you can't tie it directly, you have to at least admit that the religion at least didn't stop this shitty things from happening. Like apparently religion is supposed to give us morals. Even if you can't blame religion for shitty things that these people are doing, well at least don't give the religion credit for stopping pe- for making people live more more moral lives. Anyways, let me read the summary of this news and then we'll comment on it. So the summary says, A man addicted to gambling and alcohol bid his wife after running out of money and allowed his friends to gang rape her after losing the stake. Uh, the incident took place in Janpur. Is, am I saying that right? Janpur district? Janpur. Janpur, Janpur. Janpur. Janpur right. district. And after the incident, the victim went to court. The victim being the wife. Uh, yeah. So she went to court when the police refused to take action on her complaint. Holy shit. So she called the police and said... Yeah, these men get, uh, gang raped me after my husband just gave me to them. And the police said, like, yeah, no, we're not going to take action. What the fuck? Is, what? So she... I mean, I mean, this this isn't really that surprising to me because I am living here because uh, the police are sometimes like, okay, uh, you got raped. You had sex. You probably had some fun, and they are two men. Why do you want to destroy their lives? Don't destroy their lives. Wait, yes. you're Keep not it to yourself. I mean, there are policemen who are like that. Okay, so you're saying you're it's not surprised. Up. You're not su- so. If you're raped in India, if you're a woman and you call the police, and they say we're not going to take action in this. You're not surprised by that? Like, is that really the? Th- is that what you're? Really yeah, saying? yep. That is okay. that horrible. Holy because shit! I'm not okay. surprised. Really, not that surprised. Okay. Because, uh, well, first of all, uh, marital rape is not uh, illegal. It's legal in India. Marital rape. Yeah, I and know. This is not okay. exactly marital rape, but his husband let her get raped. So. Yeah, this is okay. This is but crazy to another level. But let me continue yeah. with the summary. So, uh, so she went to the court, and then following a court order. And F I, where is that? F I R has been registered in. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this. So there was a uh, there was filed the court filed something with the police station, and then the report said that her husband's friend Aaron and relative Anil often used to visit their house for drinking and gambling. Uh, one particular day last month, her husband put her on stake while gambling with Anil and. Arun on losing Aaron and Anil gang raped her after the incident the victim went to the uh, maternal uncle's house her husband followed her there oh the, okay so she ran away she went to the uncle's yeah. house and then her husband followed her asking for forgiveness wow okay Just ma- and said that it was a mistake really it was a mistake okay after he apologized she went back okay why would she go back i don't understand so he was like sorry i made my friends rape you i'm sorry and she was like okay fine let's go home i don't understand it is it is like something to do with the society like you're a married couple there will be quarrels but the wife has to be devoted to her husband that's kind of like to do with the society that's insane so she went back with him in the car on their way back her husband stopped the car and allowed his friends to gang rape her once again. Yeah. It's is this real? Up. Like, are you sure this is a real story? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a real story. It's like, I, is... I mean, uh, nowadays I'm not even very surprised at these cases. So. Okay, I, I don't understand. Okay, so wait. 
so the, you're saying this is a very this is a very Hindu state, right? But then it's a of- very Hindu state. It's like it's uh, this it this state and its neighboring states they have their own name, the cow belt. Just like the Bible. They call it the cow belt. Okay, just like the Bible yeah. belt in the United States. Okay. But so I, I can even hear right now like some Hindus are typing and like, oh, you're blaming Hinduism just not because of Hinduism. Technically, they're right, right? Like there's nothing in Hinduism that promotes this, is there? Uh, there's not exactly. I mean, uh, there are some texts which say like uh, gambling is wrong. I mean, okay. uh, the Rig Veda states that, and the Manusmriti, which is like the law for all Hindus, that states that. But if you are going with the Vedas, there's another Veda, Atharva Veda, which says that gambling is all fine and all. And there's the Mahabharata. I mean, Mahabharata and the Ramayana, these are two epic poems in Hinduism, which people say are like true and they have like the best people in them and uh, we should do what they have done and okay the gambling uh, is not that big of an issue we're talking about letting other men yeah i mean work. no i'm coming to that like, okay, okay in mahabharata right the the heroes like uh, i should say the house star from game of thrones of mahabharata they had there were five men and they had just one wife they gambled their wife and the kingdom away they gambled their wife so even in hinduism there are the text which says that gambling your wife away is fine. Wait, this, okay, we don't know who these people are. These are demigods or gods, the people that you were mentioning? Uh, they were like, uh, they're like uh, sons of gods, demigods. incarnations of gods, like that. Okay, okay. So you're saying there's Hindu sc- uh, scripture that demigods basically were gambling, even though there's some other Hindu scripture that says gambling is wrong, there's there's contradictory vid- videos and well, some of them say gambling is A-OK and they have examples of gods actually gambling their wives away. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, but I don't think this is because of that. I don't think no, this, this is, is not because yeah. of that. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying uh, Hinduism doesn't stop it. I mean, yeah. It's a religion is supposed to give good morals. Yeah. And it doesn't say anything against this. Yeah, it's supposed to. Everybody keeps and telling us it's supposed to give us morals. Yeah. yeah. But sorry, you were saying. Let me actually see the top comment. The top comment is saying, okay. Uh, somebody from India, victim goes to police station to file a complaint, gets rejected, only happens in my great pa- proud country. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm glad that the top comment is somebody that is from India that is not um, rejecting, like, fake, not yelling fake news. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get some people eventually saying, yeah, fake news, fake news from some of these Hindu nationalists. Are these people real or is this just like bots, in Hindu bots that keep on saying fake news every time we're critical? No, <laughs> they are real. I mean, I have mm. met people like them. They're like... Mm. Oh, it's the left-wing propaganda against Hinduism and everything. Yeah. Every country has those people, right? Like, yeah. you know, in the United States, you say shit about, like, Trump. Oh, fake news. Like, in Philippines, you say shit about Duterte. Oh, it's fake news. India, you say shit about Modi and Hindu nationalists. Like, oh, it's fake news. Like, as long as you, it goes against your narrative, it's fake news. Uh, yeah. Ricky saying what... Uh, he and everyone involved should be beaten to death. No, no, don't. No, be- no, 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 absolutely not. Don't beat anybody to Two death. Two wrongs don't make one right. Right, right. Even, even as a, even if the crime is that they beat somebody to death, the punishment should not be beating them to death. Uh, we have a news like that later on today. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Glenn is saying perhaps they'll, uh, they're just poor and she's a willing participant. Holy fuck. She, yeah, she's a willing participant, and that's why she called the cops on them after. Um, she, she fucking ran away. Yeah. This is insane. Do you think anything is going to happen to this guy? Uh, it depends, really. Dep- uh, now that the court is involved, it might happen to the guys, but I think they could be bailed out. I don't know. Oh, it, my God. It depends okay. on the court. Like, the police is fucked up. Okay, okay. Let me. Is there anything in the live chat that we need to read? Let's see. Anybody tagged us? Nobody tagged us. Okay. Oh, I see Beach saying. Oh yeah, Beach is. Uh, if they made gambling illegal, maybe she'll have an easier time of getting these men and her husband charged with something. I mean, you don't need to make gambling illegal. Rape is rape. Isn't rape illegal already in India? Isn't that enough? Rape. I th- 
I mean, it is illegal. I mean, I don't think you need new laws. I think you just need to execute the laws that you already have. That's the, that's uh, what's missing. That's that's the problem because even if they execute some laws, uh, some political party will just come and bail them out because I think, they will say they are our members. You know, I think it's it's generally a problem um, when you know you keep people try to. F By the way, Beach, I'm not trying to like um, be like put you on the spot. But I think we have this mentality that, oh, like, oh, this is a problem. Pass a new bill, pass a new bill, new law, new law. Where most of the time, based on what I've seen, the solution has not been pass new laws. The solution is like, somebody just enforce the freaking fuck law, right? Yeah. Like, India has... I mean, I mean right. honestly, like, India has some of the best laws in the world. Right. I mean, if they are, if they are uh, carried out properly. Yeah, but the thing is, India has really good laws, but is, India is also very famous for having laws on, the, on, 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 on paper that nobody follows and nothing happens to them if you but, don't follow. I mean, this, this happens when people uh, don't care about education and just about academics. They don't know what rights they have. They don't know what laws they have. Most people are like that. Right. Oh, BJ is saying it was sarcasm. Well, you have to put like... Like, uh, like, what is this? A slash S there because uh, it's hard to see if it was sarcasm if, uh, over the internet. Sarcasm isn't. Yes. Really, so, yeah, it doesn't really work with texts. Yeah, yeah. Sarcasm uh, doesn't. I can't see. Okay, but okay, but that makes a lot more sense, speech. Anyways, let's go. Oh wow, we got a super chat from Siva. Thank you, Siva. Thanks, Siva. Five pounds uh, super chat. Uh, uh, what does it say? It says, should Malaysia send... Malaysia uh, sends, uh, well, uh, it should be Zakir Naik. Yeah, Zakir Naik, which is basically an Indian Islamic preacher that is now in Malaysia, Malaysia. back to India to face trial. I mean, I don't know, because here's the thing. As much as I don't like his nonsense, I don't think we're in a position to say that whether his crime is real crime, like we don't have access to the data, we don't have access to the you know, evidence to know... I mean, his. I. I mean, he does spread bullshit a lot, but we don't know if the money laundry charges are actually accurate or not. We don't know if India made them up or if it's true. So we. I don't know. I don't think we're in a position to make a judgment. We agree. So I mean, I have uh, mixed feelings about this. I mean, if Zakina comes back to India, he'll probably get jailed. Even. I don't think he'll be executed, but he will be jailed for sure. Yeah. And he has some like. Uh, Terrorism promotions and in India, like uh, any speech exciting uh, terrorism or hate crimes or anything like that are banned, illegal. Right. They are not considered a free speech. So he'll get penalty if yeah. he comes back to India. I, I think as atheists, we have to be careful not to wish ill on people that, we've, that we that yeah. we really don't like. Like even though Zakir Naik has like a lot of nonsense. We shouldn't like personally wish them ill. Like if he hasn't actually committed the, I mean, I know he has said some very hateful things, but if he's being charged for something that he hasn't, which we don't know, maybe he has committed those crimes. But if we we shouldn't just wish. We, we need proof. We, yeah, we need proof, we need and we proof. shouldn't just wish something bad happens to somebody just because they're on the other team, right? I mean, that's that's really like a problem. Even in the atheist community, like many people are okay. Uh, that that guy is a Nazi or something like that, and that's why he should be executed. Like I don't agree, just yeah. because he's. I mean, okay, he's an asshole, but I don't think he should be killed for that. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. Okay. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, 
Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.